Hello everyone. Today we'll be focusing on some newer experiments. We've talked about the COG Video X2B in the previous video. On the Hugging Face page, the COG Video X5B is already available. You can download these models and do some experiments, play around with them, and create some short video clips. Again, I see that most of the videos they generate are maximum 6 seconds long, so video length should be the same as 2B model. However, the quality of the new 5B COG Video X has significantly improved. Naturally, the new 5B COG Video X boasts a significantly larger parameter count, 5 billion, compared to the previous versions, 2 billion, and we see a lot better quality, more consistent styles, less morphing, and the character does actually, or any objects do actually, go smoother with more coherence within this 6 second video clip. So we're going to try that in Comfy UI. We'll try to implement that as well as the COG Video X Comfy UI wrapper. It's updated and supports the 5B models as well. So we can run that. And also, we've got to install some extra stuff before running this 5B. I watched these demonstrations video from X.com where one of the guys was using the newer COG Video X 5B model. It's able to run on 6GB RAM to create these Ferrari car scenes and generate the video movement for this car. So let's try that in Comfy UI. Okay, so for COG Video X, we have to again update the custom nodes or just newly install the whole custom nodes pack. After that, you're required to go through the pip install for the requirements.txt file and update the transformer and also the diffusers for the Comfy UI settings. Now I'm using the portable Comfy UI, so I'm going to point that into the Python supporter of that install everything. And next we're going to install this next fork and also the other one that's going to improve some performance of the COG Video X generate time. Now in here, the second update of these custom nodes, it can reduce the sampling times by 40% and it's the same. The author is using the GPU 4090 with 49 frames. So that's pretty nice improvement. And, you know, so once you have everything, you've got to load into the Comfy UI. And here's the workflow for this COG Video X model. And as you can see in the download COG Video models, we have the 2B, which are the previous versions, and we've got the 5B here. So this time we're running the 5B and trying that with this model. And for the clip text clip, we're using the T5 XXL clip text. Now I have the FP16 and also the FP8. So for the demo, I'll use FP8 only, just reducing some memory usage and things like that. Then after that, we're good to go. Just like what we used to do, just click the Q prompt and wait for the result. That's it. But one thing you have to remember is that the first time you use the 5B, it will take a while to download from the back end of the Comfy UI to just gather all these files from Hugging Face, Scheduler, Text Encoder, Tokenizer, Transformer, VAE, etc. All these things are going to be downloaded one by one in Comfy UI, so take a while. So the first time you click the Q prompt here, you have to wait for that to be finished. It will look frozen, but it isn't frozen. Actually, it is running on the back end. So let's try this and we'll see. So in the Comfy UI command prompts window, as you can see, it's fetching 13 files right now. That means it is downloading the Hugging Face Models files to the local and it is going to my Models folder, COG Videos and COG Videos X 5B folder. And yup, we have our first videos generated by the COG Video X 5B. It is way better than the previous version. We are using the BF16. That is what is recommended. As you scroll down here, there's a side-by-side -side comparison for both models, the 2B and 5B. Now, the 5B, they said recommend the BF16 for running that, and it got a pretty good result. At least the dog does not possess flying bones or legs that protrude from its body. The entire golden retriever is unified into a single object, running towards the camera side. As you can see, there's some noise. Look at the backgrounds in this image. They are somewhat detailed, but not very detailed. I can't say it's morphing, but it's not high resolution in this image because it uses 720p resolution. So in order to enhance that, I've tried this V-Enhancer, 
and this is another new recent AI framework using diffusion models to make it a detailer for videos and also do a little upscale for that. But I found out that although they have the comfy UI custom nodes, it's still in development progress. Some buggy things still happen in this custom node code that I can show you here, so you don't have to try this custom node yet. As you can see, there's an error. This is a fatal error that we can't solve in settings or any comfy UI things. It's missing one file's content in the Python code. So in the videos to videos folder, as you click into init.pi, it's totally empty. Maybe this is the reason caused the error. I am not 100% sure. So wait for this custom nodes update and we might have better workflow using V enhancers to enhance videos. But at this moment, I've come up with other solutions which are using stable diffusions video to video method with animate diff. So for the V enhancer at this moment, we have to cross it out. Delete this group and we're going to use the animate diff videos to videos method to do enhancement as I did a lot of animate diff videos to videos workflow before. So we can move along and you know, just without using these groups and deleting them, we can again try to use enhanced by SD. This is what I use right now for getting better resolutions and more details added into these videos. So here we have the very simple load checkpoint models and animate diff V3 motions model using a K sampler VAE decode and run that out and see how that goes. But before that, we have to inject a control net using the animate control net model. And that is going to just smooth in the whole thing in the video result and bring it to the animate diff group. And we have everything looking cool. And lastly, of course, we have to connect this output to the control net and the latent image and confirm the VAE reroute connect in correct way. So let's try this way and we'll see how that goes. This is the result from the golden retriever. There's a lot cleaner fur on the dog and there's less noise in the background compared with what we have in the first generated videos. The background here looks like it's raining, but it didn't do too much consistent raining after the camera zoomed into the objects. So maybe that is, you know, creating something that looks like some noise from the image. So after enhancing a little bit, Things get smoother and a little bit better with more color. Yeah, so that is how we can use a similar technique of the V enhancer. Yeah, basically that is it for these videos we have so far. The 5B model update is doing pretty well. We have a pretty nice result. That is it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. See you.